Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 15, 2022. If you like to support y'all, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and let's get to it. So yes, this market fell quite hard today, it was roughly down 2% at one point and at the end of the US session, we are basically in the green. And that is a fairly positive sign for this market. If we manage to break above the 50 minute week average, then this is starting to look like uh, upward um, trend, but the question is whether or not we basically may rally above the 50 minute week average. I pointed out in the video yesterday that um, we are uh, very close to the 200 moving average in the in the weekly chart and historically that has been a significant uh, level where the Nasdaq has bounced from so it may well be that we are going to see something similar to this going forward um, or that we get rejected here again and then head head south um, that is to be seen uh, but the bullish run considering um, how bad of news there has been yesterday and today and the market is still rallying that is uh, fairly encouraging uh, for the Nasdaq um, if you look at technical indicators we can see the MACD is a uh, bullish stochastic is uh, also becoming bullish at this point just crossed the signal line and the RSI is bullish as well with a lot of room to the upside if we were to uh, break below the counting yesterday then we may drop towards 11 3 uh, 11 .3 K and then towards 11 uh, 11 k after that we go to uh, basically a leg down and go to significantly lower levels probably down towards uh, 10.7 k which is the previous lows here in september in 2020 but um friday uh, still data coming out tomorrow but but um to the fact that we rallied above the 20 moving average it kind of looks like we are going to test the 50 moving average yet again so let's look at the S&P 500. So S&P 500, same story here. We did fall quite aggressively. And then now at the end of the session, we are nearly in the green. We're at zero point, minus 0 0.29. And we're just underneath the Bollinger Band here. So we did break below these candlesticks, but as you saw, we, as you can see, we have basically rallied. If we manage to break up, uh, below this uh, tomorrow session, then we may head towards 3,640 and then significantly lower than that. To the upside, we have the 20 simple moving average here and we have the 50 moving average here as well, which we will most likely test yet again as we are rallying, uh, rallying into the end of the session. May well be uh, that we will see this market fall apart there are a few minutes left of this uh, of the uh, of the US session but at this current stage we are rallying breaking above the 50 moving average that could open the door to uh, 4000 after 4000 we have this area right here which is roughly at uh, 4100 uh, towards 4080 after that 200 moving average but breaking above the 4000 level uh, that could indicate that we'll see uh, this market continue going to the upside. Technically, in the US, we can see the MACD is a bullish, the Kansas has become bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. Dow Jones, very similar here. We dropped all the way down to 30.1K and then we rallied. We are at 30.6K at this current stage. And uh, to the upside, we have the 20 simple moving average right here at the 30.8K. After that, we have the previous highs here of 31.5K uh, and the 50 moving average at 31.6k breaking above that and then we have the previous lows here that we have to get through and the previous highs here also in order to go towards the 200 moving average but it is getting more encouraging as we can see that um, there's a lot of buying occurring every time we see these massive dips even though there's a, a very bad news to the downside Breaking below the candlestick here would open the door towards the 29.6k and then much lower than that. But when that is said, both for the NASDAQ SP 500 and the Dow Jones, uh, we have also seen a lot of selling occurring when we get towards the 50 moving average, the 200 or the 20 simple moving average. 
If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is uh, about to cross the signal line and become bearish. Stochastic is about to cross the signal line and become bullish. And the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the European market and they look uh, terrible. We are down 1.86% uh, at this current stage. And most of this has to do with uh, Mario Draghi basically quitting as a PM. And uh, that is not good news for the, the Italian economy, but in general also inflation and so on are playing it. Um, but we have not broken below the lows here in basically March or the previ uh, previous lows here. So we are still hanging on towards uh, basically this bottom. But if this breaks, then watch out below because we are going to go see this market tumble significantly lower, probably down towards 11.4 K. To the upside, we have the 20 simple moving average, which have tested several times in the re recent days and the 50 moving average moving this direction and also the 200 moving average moving this direction. So there's a lot of resistance above and we are basically getting squeezed. This market uh, will all either tumble significantly lower or basically has a, a big fine on its hand in order to go significantly higher. MACD is, is uh, still bullish, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So Japanese Nikkei, you can see that we have rallied quite nicely, roughly 1% to the upside and are heading towards the 50 moving average, are actually getting rejected the 50 moving average. So this market has, need to get a rectangle here, uh, the highest here and the lows roughly there. So you can see that right around here we have a double top and we have an area down here at the 25.5 which has offered significant uh, support in the past so we are trading within this range and at the moment we are basically in the middle of things so this market is kind of interesting to trade but if we are basically at the top here at roughly at 28.3 or the very bottom of 25.5 otherwise we would just technically going sideways at this current stage. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and our RSI is bullish as well. So if we close above the 50 moving average, we may go towards the 200 or the previous highs here. So WIX is, well, it rallied above the 50 moving average all the way up towards uh, 28.81 and then gave all of the gains back. And we basically fell apart at the end of the session, as we can see that uh, indices are rallying. So there's a negative correlation between uh, the VIX and, and indices of stock as this increases, volatility or fear increases and people are selling off. And as it basically falls, volatility falls and the fear of the market also uh, falls and people are willing to basically become more uh, optimistic. But 200 moving average is where we have found support in the past. So even though we fall here, we may just fall towards the 24.64 before going higher. If we break below the, 20, uh, the 200 moving average, then we may see um, these um, indices go much higher. But at this current stage, we basically need confirmation whether or not we basically rally from this point. Otherwise, if we get rejected here, then we may see a few days where uh, indices rally, which would make sense um to what we're basically seeing in most of the indices if we look at the, the macd is still bearish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish as well so momentum is definitely to the downside if you look at the 10 year it has been all over the place at this current stage we have a bottom here of roughly 2.7 and we are getting rejected quite heavily at the 20 simple moving average and also at the 50 moving average so at this point, it kind of looks like we are heading back down towards this point. Whether or not we bounce from there, that is going to be the question. Or we just have a breakdown and then drop towards the 200 moving average, which should be around uh, 2.4, 2.3 in give or take. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is a bit bearish, stochastic is crossing the line, becoming bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So, hope you find it helpful. You can support channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and all my all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. Good luck and thank you very much.